welcome back to my channel. It is Lydia. If you're new around here, welcome. If not, get in the back. You already know what time it is. Guys, if you're new around here, then you have no idea why I'm sitting by these unfinished, unpainted stairs. But if you're not new, you know that your girl finished a full house renovation in April. <laughs> we now in September. Damn, we, we, we nearly October. And as you can see, my stairs are still not finished. But today, is the day well in fact the next two days are going to be the days because we are finally going to finish this stair renovation and guys i am so excited to share this i know i'm currently sitting here and you can as you clearly can see it's not done <laughs> i have a lot of faith i have a lot of hope i have a lot of practice and i've taken some lessons so order of business we're planning on painting the stairs adding some artwork repainting this wall to my left here where the handrail is because as you guys know my house is painted with Valspar Fresh Narcissus I, I believe that's how you say it beautiful paint gorgeous color however being a brown babe who wears brown makeup who gets everything dirty this wall has already got some marks in it so we're going to repaint the wall we're going to transform the stairs and also we're going to transform down the bottom of my stairs here because i've got this beautiful shelf from dowsing and reynolds that has not been utilized yet usually when you're doing stairs like this you've got to do a lot of prep work so that's like sanding it down priming it using the white paint but as you guys may already know if you've watched my Renault series vlogs, there's a whole list that I can link you guys to go and watch here if you haven't. Um, these stairs were actually fully prepped and they were ready to go. All we had to do is kind of add a stair runner in the middle until the company that I was working with completely flopped me. Like, ugh, they flopped me to the highest order. So, everything is prepped, everything is ready. We just literally need to paint. So these are all of the products that I went and picked up at being q guys. I literally live in that store ever since becoming a ready babe. I am there, I think, like on a bi-weekly basis. So I picked up some supplies here. Let me talk you through them real quick. This is the paint that we've decided to go for. It's a multi-surface durable paint um, for floors, radiators, and self-priming. It's important for you to make sure that you have um, paint that you can actually use on wooden floors. So what I didn't know is that you can't use all paints on wooden flooring because you need to tread on it and obviously if you keep treading on it the paint can break. So you have to be specific about the paint that you are using. So we've got this durable paint and deciding which version to go for, silk, satin or gloss Guys, that took entirely too long. I had to call my dad. <laughs> I have to call Mr. Dinger and be like, sir, <laughs> I know you never painted stairs before, but what do you think? So we went for the satin one instead. And of course we've gone for it in the color Black Libertine. Guys, you see, you, you see, it's, it's gonna be nice, okay? Besides that, I also have another second pot of paint here and it's my Valspa paint. And this is just the paint that I have as the color of my house. As I said, we are going to be retouching the walls as well. So we needed an extra pot of that. Alongside that, we have some frog tape. Um, this was basically recommended by the lady in store. She said that it's really good for you to use as a way to line the stairs so that you don't get the back of the stairs. As I said, my stairs are gonna be monochrome, so black and white. The back of the boards here is going to be white and the bit that you tread on will be black. So we're going to try and protect the white spaces. I pray to God that it works out, okay? And then last but not least, we need our painting tools. So we've got a brush here, a thin brush, as well as some rollers, okay? And we've got the smaller rollers. So that is pretty much everything that you're gonna need for this transformation. As I said before, you might need um, more products depending on the state of your stairs, but as my stairs are already primed, prepped, and literally ready to go, it's just a case of us painting it. Renna Babe is back. And you know when this wig is here, Renna Babe, she's fully back. So now that we have the kit, we've got the plan. All we have to do is thank our sponsors of the video today who are Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes available. With Skillshare, you can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and start new hobbies. The class that I'm loving the most is the Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Your Perfect Space class by Lauren Cox. 
So this class has taught me a lot more about interior design. And so now I'm an even better reno babe. Skillshare has got a great community where you can connect and get support from fellow creatives as well. If you wanna learn a new skill and join the Skillshare fam, the first 1,000 of my subscribers who use the link left in my description box, click that link and go and sign up, get one month free trial of Skillshare. All you gotta do is sign up using my link in the description box and run, 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 only 1,000. First order of business, we need to sweep the stairs because there's so much dust, guys. I can't explain how much dust you have in a house that's like settling in itself. You can sweep every single day and still have so much dust. Um, don't forget to get all of the side bits, even the paneling, just basically a good dust and a good sweep is the agenda. So next order of business is floor wipes, some wet wipes, just to clean any kind of wet watermarks from before like mud, shoes, rain, all of that, so that we have a nice clean surface for the paint. <laughs> so when you're cleaning the stairs, do the top going down, because I've just cleaned the bottom one, but I have to walk all over it. So clean up going down. And also guys, tip, when you're painting, we're gonna do this job hopefully over two days. This paint requires like 12 hours to dry. So for that reason, we're gonna paint every other step and then leave some stairs white tonight. And then tomorrow, do the other steps, you know, so that we don't have to do what I've just done now. Literally walk over all your hard work. It makes no sense. So, stairs cleaned and wiped down. So, I've just done the first layer of the frog tape masking. Guys, this requires a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, because the whole point of this is to prevent the black from leaking onto the white, which obviously you don't want to do. So, um, this is going to take quite a while for us to do all steps but it's very important the aim of it is just for us to mask like underneath the step and um, on the sides of it just so that the black doesn't run into the white at all this is time consuming but it's definitely a necessary step the great thing about using um, frog tape is the fact that it's got low tack so when you're sticking it down it just comes off quite easily but it also sticks down so definitely use this and don't use just any normal masking tape guys i'm gonna be right back i got like 14 steps to tape. Be right back. The aim is to try and get it as low and as close to the step as possible. The corners are definitely the trickiest parts. Being a perfectionist in things like this certainly does not help. commissioned piece that's meant to reflect Dot and I who live in the house here. Um, I haven't seen it yet as you guys can see it is still wrapped but I'll show you that in a minute. So on the top of the stairs um, this wall doesn't require painting it's just got a few marks from like when we're going into the bathroom and because my paint is actually a washable paint it should just come off um, by wiping it so yeah that's really just coming off. But the only thing that I could wipe the side of the stairs but there's just too many marks on there so I'm going to clean this up and then using some command strips. So if you watch my vlogs, you know that I use command strips to hang um, the canvas that we have downstairs and that's quite heavy. So this is a lot lighter, so it should be fine. Just want to clean up this. Anything left here is where we're going to put this commissioned art piece. Let's open it together, guys. I'm so excited. I haven't actually opened it. So as I said, this is an art piece that was commissioned. Alicia Nichols, black owned artist, black owned artist and black artist. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Honestly, I've had this sitting in my lounge for about two weeks now. I'm so nervous. But how are you feeling about seeing this? I'm excited. May God continue to 
guide and bless you and your sister on the road to success. Peace, love from Alicia, hashtag boss babes. You know the hashtag already. Okay, I'm so nervous. So first of all, it's two pieces that make one art piece. So three, two, one. Oh my God. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, like this or? Oh my God. Look at ah! Are you serious? It's so nice. <laughs> I'm so scared to look. Look at it. Okay, wait. Look at your look. I want to put this downstairs. That is so... I want to put this in the lounge. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. This is going to be mean. And this is no wait. No, which one do you want to be? The headscarf, or do you want to be? This no, one? you're in the wall in the headscarf. You're wearing jewelry. <laughs> and this is you, the bantu knots. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! This is amazing, you guys. What? That is literally the color. All of the color that we need at the top of the stairs. And honestly, I've just looked at it for three seconds, and we need to switch the one downstairs. Like. We have to switch the one downstairs because we need colour. We are colourful babes. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, right. I love it. I, I, I freaking love it. And it's even been signed just from when she's famous. You know that I got the original art piece right here in my house. Shout out to you, Alicia. Like, thank you so much. This is so pretty. Okay, back to the mission. This has to go up there. So let's do it. And we've got command strips. So let's command this all the way. better than I expected, like a million. Alicia Nichols Art. I'm gonna leave her links in the description box if you guys wanna go check her out. This is perfect. Do we need to have some color downstairs or are we good? Well, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Okay, Alicia, what's up? So now that this is done, next we're gonna do is paint this wall and then start painting the stairs because the wall, we have to paint it so that when you're walking down the stairs, you don't, need to, you, you don't touch it basically. my house every quarter um, because the walls are like cream and off-white and my boyfriend and not think I'm being excessive I don't think I'm being excessive at all because as you can see it's been five months and there's already marks on the wall so if I want a fresh clean house with a fresh clean palette I think every quarter is suitable to repaint you guys let me know what you think in the comments progress update the sides of the stairs have been painted the handle has been painted and the art is up guys we are literally like 40 50 percent there next we just need to paint okay we're gonna paint the top of the stairs at black and then our last task is to decorate this corner here that currently has some frog tape this looks so good already i literally love it and we haven't even painted just yet Oh, it is a black. Blackity black, black, black. Wipe the surface clean. And then I'm gonna first go into the paintbrush to do the edges. Just painting the edges first. And that's why we have the frog tape. That's why you need the frog tape underneath there too, as you can see. look half of the stairs have been done if you want to go down the stairs now we kind of have to go and do every other step <laughs> which is completely fine for now uh, another thing that i want to point out about this paint is that it says on the back of the tin that this requires 12 hours to dry this was painted about an hour and a half ago and it is completely dry this paint that i have here on my hands is from like painting earlier on but it's 
completely dry. So we're not gonna give this 12 hours. <laughs> we're gonna give it like maybe six hours max just to be extra safe, but literally, it's dry. So tonight before I go to bed, I'm gonna paint the alternate stairs black and then do a second coat on the ones that are already painted. And then tomorrow morning, I am going to come back and do a second coat on the alternate steps and then also decorate that shelf there with you. And then we shall be done with the video. Guys, how simple. This has gone so, so well. Such a simple DIY. I just hope that when I take off the tape, everything is super neat. That's the plan. But for now, I'm gonna just go and chill and then come back and check on these in the next like six hours or so. So good morning, guys. So it is day two of our stair reno. And as you can see, we are like a good 90% there. So last night, I basically had to paint the second coat of the stairs that we'd already painted and then paint the other alternate ones. Guys, it was such an effort to paint like backwards like this. Boy. I don't know if I'd recommend for you to do that, <laughs> but they're done and they look, look, I think they look good. I've seen a few mistakes kind of like here where there's like some paint that's spilled onto the white, but we'll sort that out as the final thing. What I want to do now is peel off all the paint so that we can see what situation we're working with. And then after that, um, we can do any amendments, but I also want to show you the shelf. Like I want to decorate the shelf with you very quickly and then we shall do a clean up and then we are done. Okay, peel this. One pro tip that I'm gonna give to anybody who wants to do this, I would highly recommend that you do two layers of tape at the top. You see, this is one layer, and this here is the second one. And so if you do the two layers of tape, it means that I wouldn't have got any marks. I'll show you any marks at the top of the stairs, I'll show you. Like I said, we're gonna go through with some white to fix these parts. But overall, I'm very happy. This is what it looks like from the bottom of the stairs. Look at how wonderful that looks. And then let me go up and show you. So like I said, we've got to repair these bits. You see these little marks? Got to repair those. But this looks so good. Oh my God, so, so good. And then let me show you the view from the top of the stairs. So we've got this gorgeous cloud chandelier from Dowsing and Reynolds. I absolutely love this. Love the gold base of it. And I'm actually thinking about adding another piece of the back there. So I did decide to add another art piece on the opposite side. I just felt like the space was a little bit lacking. Um, I got this art piece from IVHU Art who do contemporary black art. And I think it just fits the space perfectly. It's literally what the space was missing. Really and truly, I love this piano key effect when you walk into the house and this is how you look at the stairs. Like it looks so good. And now the black stairs match with like these black fittings that I have, like sockets. It looks so, so good. shelf so I've got a lovely little candle here well <laughs> if you guys watch my vlogs then you remember this candle I still I'm not very keen on the smell of it but I love the aesthetic of it I think aesthetically it is gorgeous okay and then we have some bits from H&M I just picked these up from H&M home this gorgeous marble tray this was $17.99 this is stunning it's really very heavy and the purpose of this is that we can throw our keys previously as I came into the door or any guest came just used to throw the keys on top of the shelf which is actually going to scratch it it's a lovely lovely expensive shelf so we have somewhere to put our keys on instead a set of three decorative um, I don't even know what these are, but just decorative pieces. These were also from H&M. Um, I can't remember how much the price is, but this one was $6.99, so around that price. I think these work really well together. The color theme that I'm going for, again, is black and white, like monochrome. I think it's really, really nice. 
you know. And then I've got these two pieces that I ordered from AliExpress. Literally, these were the first things that I ordered from AliExpress when I had got the keys to my house. It's so random. <laughs> but I ordered some vases because these were popping off. They were so expensive at H&M. They were so expensive on Amazon. So I just decided to get them from AliExpress and they're really, really good. And then one last thing, one special thing, which is this gorgeous shell that my boo picked for me when we were in Antigua. And I just thought it was really very unique. He thought it was unique too. And it just looks like an ornament. It looks like something really designed for like a space. Look at how cool that is. This is a natural shell. So this is the last piece, little personal touch that's gonna go on a shelf. So next thing I'm going to do, just organize it. And then we are done with the stair renovation, apart from having to clean up. But we'll do that as a super last minute thing. So first let's organize this shell. to the end of my stair reno let me know what you guys think because i absolutely love this i can't believe it took me so long to do something like this but this is literally perfect a big shout out to skillshare for sponsoring this video a big shout out to alicia nichols for the wonderful art it's proper inspired me now i'm looking at that part of my wall that part of the stairs and i'm thinking that just needs art it just needs some color and i think that the color of all of this really complements like the monochrome black and white i absolutely love this you guys let me know what you think go and peep my home instagram at leading home to go and see what else we're going to be adding to the space and you can be the first one to also see what art piece i picked for here you know it's gonna be black home you know it has to be black home and so that's it for me today until next time guys i shall see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>